हेलो हाय एवरीवन आई एम संजय गुप्ता आई वेलकम यू ऑन स्किल होराइजन ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर हैविंग डे फोर्टीन ऑफ दिस हंड्रेड डेज सेल्स फोर्स एंड सोन चैलेंज सो टुडे आई एम हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वन मोर चैलेंज एंड टुडेज सेशन टुडेज इन टुडेज सेशन द चैलेंज इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू ट्रेगर ओके सो आई विल शो यू दैट चैलेंज सोन so moving forward so basically uh, before i start the session and uh, share the challenge in front of you so we are skill horizon and we are trail blazer workforce partner and uh, if you or anybody in your circle wants to do uh, any uh, job readiness uh, program so uh, you can just visit this skill, uh, this uh, website skillhorizon.org.in okay and uh, we basically follow three step learning approach so Uh, if you want to do salesforce job readiness training program so we'll be uh, focusing on the conceptual learning we'll be focusing on the hands on exercises and the uh, project based learning will give you okay so these are the key factors that we uh, follow in all the uh, job readiness training programs whether it is online or offline and if you want to follow us so you can just visit the website or you have this instagram and telegram community qr codes so you can scan and you can join okay so now moving on to the uh, like hands on challenge that i have for you uh, for today's session so it is uh, challenge number 14 that i'm uh, bringing in front of you right so in this challenge we are going to discuss about this problem so in today's challenge the main focus is how we can apply validation and uh, custom label in trigger okay so there are two scenarios available uh, first is quite easy and in second we need to apply some check so first is if you are creating any account record and uh, account record cannot be deleted if uh, active as yes so if you already have any account record uh, available in the org and if you are trying to delete that okay so you should not be delete if that account is already active so active as a pick list that is available on account and uh, if we change its value like if we have its value to yes and uh, if we try to delete okay so we we should see an error message and uh, initially i will be showing error as a custom like as a hard coded value then i will be using a custom label so that that error can be displayed as a dynamic value okay and then later on we'll discuss about this so moving on to the org and uh, trying to implement this so we have implemented lots of challenges already so we are in account trigger so we'll be implementing a method here in the account trigger handler so i am going to create it here so it will be for deletion to prevent the deletion so i'm creating a method public static void prevent account deletion and here i'm going to receive list of account okay acc list i will be receiving now here inside this method i will be writing the code and uh, i have one question uh, for everyone uh, in case of delete can you tell me like which context variable i will be receiving in this acc list uh, will it be trigger dot new or trigger dot old so i am repeating the question you need to tell like when i call this method in a trigger so what i will be passing into this acc list will it be uh, Uh, trigger dot new or it will be trigger dot old just tell me i'm just waiting for your responses so once you respond then uh, we'll call it in the trigger meanwhile i'm just adding before delete here and i'm creating a if block where i'm checking trigger dot is delete and inside that i am writing trigger dot is before so i am not getting any response till now so can anybody help me like uh, what what i will be passing from here will it be trigger dot new or trigger dot old what do you think so i am going to call this method so i am just copying the class name calling it here and then prevent account deletion so here i need to pass some parameter yes so subhashini kanak shrivani you guys are right so we need to pass trigger dot old 
बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ डिलीशन ट्रिगर डॉट न्यू विल बी नल ओनली ट्रिगर डॉट ओल्ड एंड ट्रिगर डॉट ओल्ड मैप विल बी हैविंग द वैल्यूज ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू कॉल इट नाउ वी नीड टू डिफाइन द प्रोसेस हेयर ओके सो इन दिस प्रोसेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट अ लू राइट अकाउंट एंड account will be the s object api then acc is the variable and then account list uh, on this we are iterating a loop now what we are going to do inside this loop we will be checking if acc dot active underscore underscore c double equals to yes so on account we have a custom field called active that we are using here it is a pick list now since it is a pick list so we just need to check it whether it is yes or no so if it is yes then we need to prevent the account deletion so for prevention what you can do you can simply write acc dot add error and then we can pass the error message so we can say you cannot delete an active account right so this is how we can write a method so now if you are going to delete okay if you are going to delete a record so you will receive an error message so i'm going to open account record and going to details so here under active i'm going to populate yes i'm just clicking on save now if i delete this record so i will receive an error message so i'm getting this error you cannot delete an active account right but the issue is in this code i have hard coded this okay now if you deploy it to the production and production you want to change it so it is not possible so what you can do instead of hard coding values into into the code you can create a custom label for that okay so we already saw how we can apply the validation now it's time to apply the uh, custom label so for custom label what you can do you just need to go to setup and in setup we are going to create it so under home you can just search for custom label okay just click on custom label and uh, here we can create a new custom label okay i am just writing short description as account deletion error message then here we can define the value so the value that we typed in the code that you can simply copy or something else that you want to throw as an error so you can put paste it here right and here if you want to specify like uh, where it is used so we can say it is used in apex trigger for reference purpose okay now you can simply save it so this is how we created a label okay custom label so just copy the api name of this custom label and uh, here we can use it okay so this way you can use it label dot and then paste the api name right if you type this api name so with the help of this you will be able to understand how we can prevent the errors like how we can throw the error how we can prevent the deletion okay i am just saving this code it is already saved now label i have created so uh, with the help of this label now error message will be displayed so if i click on edit i'm just changing this you cannot delete an active account please contact your system administrator so i'm just clicking on save okay i just saved it so i just modified the error message so that when this time i'm going to delete this record so you will see uh, what will happen so i'm going to delete that record again and you will see the new error message so this is coming from the custom label so you cannot delete an active account please contact your system administrator if you want to delete right so this is how custom label is beneficial so if you have not used it so far you can apply and uh, in real time projects use of custom label is recommended okay so now what we are going to do if i show you the challenge so this was the challenge we we need to use validation and a custom label in the trigger now next is 
write a trigger on account and check only system administrator profile user should be able to delete an account. So the same code I'm going to modify and here I need to use a profile. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, no, I think this, this method only we can modify. So here what I'm going to do, I need to query the profile first. Okay, and uh, here, I'm just writing profile p equals to then I need to query okay so select ID from profile where name equals to system administrator right if if name is system administrator so uh, that that profile basically will be queried and that profile will be stored into this p right now what what we are going to do uh, here we have this account loop acc list and uh, we need to check so this condition i'm going to remove and here i'm writing user info dot get profile id not equals to p dot id so here what is happening uh, user info dot get profile ID will give you the logged in user ID. Okay, Log, logged in users profile ID. So right now I'm logged in as system admin. So it will give me system admin profile ID and that we are comparing with p dot ID. So if both are not matching, then it will throw an error. If both are matching, then it will be bypassed. So I just saved this code after modification. So we just queried the profile and then we are applying it. Now, if I try to delete this record, let's see what happens. If I'm trying to delete, now I am able to delete the record. Okay. So you might be thinking how we can test the negative use case. Like uh, what if we are, lo we are logged in with the non system admin profile. So there are two options now. Okay. First option is just go to incognito window and log in with your second user and, uh, uh, second means like non system admin user you can log in and then you will be able to test whether you are able to delete or not that is one thing second option is here only you can reverse the condition like if system admin is the profile you should not be able to delete and other user profile should be able to delete so i just apply double equals to sign just for testing purpose if if both the profile ids are matching logged in and this p dot id that we queried then error will be thrown. So if I open any other account record and if I try to uh, test it out, whether it is working or not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete account record. And if I delete account record, yeah. So now I'm getting this error. You cannot delete an active account. Please contact your system administrator. Okay, so in this case, like it is working in both the ways. So now I'm just putting not equals to. So one way I already showed you like how we can test it out. Now, how we can test it with the another user. Okay. So for that, you need to open incognito window. So I'm going to log in with incognito window. So yeah, here is the incognito window. I'm going to log in. So to log in, I need username and password of my another user. So I'm going to set up so that I can copy a username and password. So this way you will be able to understand like how we can test with different users. So you can log in in incognito window with another user and uh, with the help of that, you will be able to test. So I'm copying the username, pasting it here and uh, filling the password. So I'm able to log in and uh, with this logged in user, I have profile as standard user. If you see this particular user is having standard user profile. Okay. And standard user has access to the standard objects. So now with this uh, user where I am in incognito window, if I open any of the account record, so let's see what happens. So I'm just opening it. And if I try to delete, 
yeah so i'm getting this error okay this is something else Yeah, we are getting error, but it is not giving that particular error. Let me check the profile permission, whether we have delete permission or not. Some profile issue is there. So I'm going to verify that. But the other thing I already showed you, like how we can test it out without logging in uh, as different user. So I'm going to check the standard user profile. Yeah, here we are having all the permissions. Okay, I think this particular user is not the owner of this record. So let me just create an account. Because in deletion ownership also works. So let's say I'm creating skill horizon 501 and I'm going to save it. So this record I'm creating with this user. So owner is Vikas, okay, uh, for this particular record. Now if I try to delete, let's see what happens. Yes, now I'm getting that error. So basically what was happening uh, earlier we were having different error why so because you uh, the, the logged in user was, was not the owner of this particular record owner was some other user so if if you try to delete a record for another user you will receive different error like you don't have access and all but if you are the owner of the record and you try to delete in that case our code will be working fine okay this particular code that we implemented so if your logged in user profile ID is not equals to uh, system admin profile ID, then automatically you will receive an error, right? So this is how I just demoed you uh, this particular use case. So uh, this was a small use case uh, where we applied validation and custom, uh, custom label in the trigger. And I uh, showed you how we can do testing with multiple users. So I think with the help of this implementation, you are able to understand all these things. So in, in first use case we implemented, uh, we prevented account deletion uh, based on the active field. And in the second one, we prevented deletion of the account based on the profile. Okay, and whenever uh, profiles come in the picture, then you can just log in with multiple users. I showed you how we can log in uh, with multiple users. So you can have normal Chrome browser and then Google Chrome you can, open. Uh, sorry, incognito window you can open so that parallelly you can log in with two users. So you can also try this particular uh, use case in your system and then test it out. Okay, so I will be coming uh, back with one more uh, scenario in the next session, uh, next challenge. So we can discuss. Right, so this, this is it for today. And uh, if you want to follow us, you can just scan these QR codes. So, <clears throat> Okay, so this is it for today. Thank you for joining today's session live. And tomorrow we'll be having mock interview session that will be full one hour long session. And uh, in these challenges, actually I'm picking some random scenarios so that it will be a refresher for you. Okay, and uh, going forward, we'll be having difficult use cases as well, right? So I'm starting with the simple one and then we'll see some difficult one as well. Okay, so you can join tomorrow's session for mock interview. Uh, Utkarsh will be there with me. So we will have a discussion. Right. And uh, yep, so this is it for today. Thank you. Bye everyone. See you tomorrow in another session.